Okay, good day viewers. I want to be talking about uh, sorting of catfish today. Uh, in some cases, sorting of catfish could also be called catfish grading. Catfish grading is a process by which catfish are separated. For instance, when we have several uh, numbers of catfish in a particular pond, and then we want to do identification based on sizes, it could be based on sex, and it could, it could be based on diseases. So catfish can be sorted on basically these three uh, uh, criteria. But in some cases, there might be other things that we look out for before sorting catfish. Now, when it comes to sizes, for instance, in the uh, polycloning, when you want to increase the number of uh, fishes, we can sort based on the sexes. That means you sort the male and the female, looking for the one with the best uh, uh, physical characteristics that could give you a good offspring. So in that case, you take the big ones and then you sort them. Then we also sort in cases of uh, when we want to sell. Some catfishes are sort maybe the smoking size, the table size uh, for selling. It can be sorted as such. Then based on diseases too, some people sort their catfish when they notice that some are having diseases, so they remove the diseased catfish from the clean ones that are free from disease. Now, the major purpose of sorting catfish, there are different uh, reasons. One of them is uh, the fact that we want to prevent overcrowding. In a uh, pond, for instance, that is uh, having a capacity of 1,000, then you have you stock the uh, what is it called? The pond with about 5,000 fishes. You know, in about a week or two, you have to work to sort them so that you can reduce overcrowding and then the fishes will be able to grow appropriately. Then, uh, in such a case, you can sort once in a week. But when you have uh, about uh, 1,000 pond in a very good sized fish, you can only sort about once in a month and then you are able to have your fishes growing at a good environment. So now, talking about the time of sorting, Sorting can be done very early in the morning or late in the evening. Uh, in one of our previous videos, we've talked about the fact that fishes are very responsive to temperature, very high temperature, they react. So very early in the morning when the temperature is just rising, that, well, that's when the sun is coming up, maybe about seven, between seven and nine, and then in the evening, maybe between five and um, seven p.m., provided you have a bright day. So. During those times, the fishes can be sorted. But one thing that must be noticed before sorting of fishes is the fact that you must ensure that prior sorting, you have starved the fish for a minimum of six hours. Because if the fishes have been fed and then you start sorting them, they go through a lot of stress and then they might end up uh, having their intestine affected. So before fishes, for instance, if you are sorting in the evening, you stop feeding maybe from around 9 a.m. Maybe they're just only going to eat in the morning and then you don't feed them until evening after you have finished sorting them. So when you sort them, you don't feed them again because they will be stressed. So in some cases, there is um, uh, sorting requires experience. You know, it requires skilled labor, especially if you want to sort with hands. But there are some places where they have um, tables for sorting. So the catfishes will be put on the table. You will ensure that the uh, table is clean and neat. And then the sizes of the fishes would have been greater, so more or less like an opening. So when you see a certain size, you pass them through that opening and then they will be transferred to other pond. But in cases where you don't have such tables, uh, a person that is experienced has to do the sorting because uh, with experience they can, while picking the uh, fishes, most people already know uh, the average weight. They might not be ac actually specific and uh, accurate about it, but they can pick near to a close range. So with all these ones, you should be able to sort your feet comfortably without any stress. So sorting is very important, especially when you want to have a maximum growth of fish in the pond. And for instance, by the time one is um, stocking, one needs to sort because you want to pick out the best fishes to stock. So in some cases you have some shooters that will grow faster. So in such case you can separate them when you are putting your juveniles into consideration. So these grades will help one. And even when one wants to sell fish, so sorting is necessary such that you can remove some uh, particular type of fish at a time and then sell them. So if you are intending on selling the smoking size, you can remove the smoking size and then sell them. Why is still not turning those ones that are above smoking size depending on what the farmer wants to achieve and the price so sorting gives room for the farmer to be able to make decisions 
ask and when to sell their fishes and then ask and when to know when some fishes are diseased so that to prevent them from spreading the disease to other fishes. Thank you for listening.